When I opened this gym, that was uh, 2012. Uh, this gym is the is, is, is the flag gym, like it's is is the flagship. We, we don't we we cannot get rid of this gym ever ever ever. You can see on the wall picture of uh, Francis Ngannou, like the first time that he ever trained in MMA. Francis Ngannou trained in this gym, and you can see like Siri Gan on the, on the wall. The, the first training MMA that he had that was in this gym. Uh, this is the place that everything starts. When you say MMA factory, you have Fernando Lopez uh, with this name, so because he built everything here, not lonely. You have a big team now. This is like a big boat. Okay, he's a captain, but you have a lot of a lot of guys. And today, MMA Factory is maybe the best gym, maybe. I don't want to, but today, the MMA Factory proved, yeah, today is one of the best in France and in Europe, you see. And uh, the, the thing that we had, we love in this gym was that we had the key of the gym, like that was my gym, and, and, and I, I can open the gym and have the class whenever I want. So we have this, that's why we need the gym factory. Like, this is a factory that we don't close. It's 24 hours. People are training all day long, every time training. And then at some point, uh, we wanted to have a bigger, a bigger gym. Like we needed more space. And uh, with octagon, like the size of the UFC octagon. And uh, we uh, had that conversation with one of the biggest men, man that helping the sport to evolve in France. Is Fran Dupuis. Fran Dupuis is the boss of Venom. And uh, he became the sponsor of UFC at the same time. I was like, you have a big facility. Can we merge and do something together? And, uh, and we found a way to work together. And, and, and then we had this, one of the this biggest gym in the Europe, in, in Venom Training Center. And, and, and that's, that's how we end up there. So I knock at the door and I say, hey, hello, I'm Cyril Gann. Fernando Lopez look at me, if you wait, you, really, okay? If you want to train, no risk, because you see, Fernando Lopez have a lot of guys knock at the door because, uh, because of uh, Francis Ngannou is, is, is an idol, an example. And everyone want, want to knock at the door, yes, I'm the next Francis Ngannou, you see? So he have a lot of people like that knock on the door, knock on the door. And me, I'm just arrived and I say, yeah, I want to do some sparring. So, uh, so I started like that, I did my first training, and after my second training, he told me, try to do some MMA, and I did it. And after that, he said, okay, I want you in, 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 a, in my gym. I want you uh, in the MMA. And he explained all the plan for me, and I said, uh, it's a good plan, okay. We're gonna try, let's go. So today, to have Fernando Lopez, uh, is a big help, not only for MMA, but for my private life also, you see. He's here for me, for every fighter here, for MMA factory, for everybody. I believe in this, in this guy, really. I believe so much in this guy. I believe so much in this guy. Now, a lot of people from Europe want to come in MMA factory to spar, because you have a lot of good fighters, and like that, you, 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 you can grow up. I'm kind of surprised, I, I can't believe that we can literally walk from my gym to the venue where the, the UFC will take place uh, on, uh, on September 3rd. So yeah, I'm, 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 I'm glad, I'm happy that uh, this is happening in France, yes. Everyone wants to be there in, in, in the arena on September 3rd. This is, this is huge. For, for us, this is huge. So yeah, I, I can't wait to be there. This is mean a lot. They are just two years ago, this sport was not legalized. So today we are really happy to, uh, to have the UFC event in Paris. You have a lot of fun in Paris. Some guys waiting for that from maybe 10 years. You have a lot of fighters, a lot of fighters fighting everywhere in the world, but not in his country. You understand? So today we are really happy. And of course, for me, this, is, this means a lot. I'm on the headline, so I scribbed something on, on my history and the history of MMA, on the French MMA. So I'm really happy about that, and uh, and that's why I want to do something good uh, tomorrow for for this fight, really.